Welcome to the Chinese Extension Information Session. In this session, I would like to give you a brief run through of what the course is about, the related assessment details, and how you can apply to study the course and some useful websites if you would like to have a more in-depth understanding of the course. The extension course builds upon the body of knowledge and skills acquired in the Chinese Continuous course. It provides students with opportunities to develop a greater competence and fluency in the language and to explore contemporary issues in Chinese. The aim of the Chinese Extension Stage 6 syllabus is to enhance students' knowledge and understanding of a range of issues as reflected in contemporary Chinese texts while extending their ability to use and appreciate Chinese as a medium for communication and creative thoughts and expression. Students will achieve the following objectives. Objective one, present and discuss opinions, ideas, and points of view in Chinese. Objective two, evaluate, analyze, and respond to text that is in Chinese and that reflects the culture of Chinese speaking communities. There is a prescribed text for extension course. For Chinese, it is a Chinese movie called The Young Style, Qing Chun Pai. It is a 2013 coming of age comedy film directed by Jay Liu. It depicts the story of a high school boy as he processes the loss of his first love and learn to experience high school over again. It will give you a great opportunity to learn how different and similar the last year of high school is between China and Australia. There is also three prescribed issues, education, relationships, and division in society. On top of the prescribed text, Students will also read, listen to, and view a range of texts relevant to the prescribed issues. Our Chinese Extension course materials are all built into our Canvas course. As for assessment, internal assessment weighting is as follows. The assessment consists of three components, text analysis, writing and speaking. Text analysis and writing each weights 40% and speaking is 20% of the total mark. As the extension course started in term four, students will have one term of study before their first assessment in term one, week three, 2025. Assessment two will be term one, week 10, and trial exam will be together with all our other trial exams in early term three. HSC exam will consist of oral examination where students will be given seven minutes preparation time and present a three minutes monologue. Written exam will be one hour and 50 minutes working time plus 10 minutes reading time. Students will complete the text analysis part A and B and the writing task during this exam. Look onto the table on the right hand side for the mark value and required response. If you would like to study Chinese extension at New South Wales School of Languages. If you're currently studying Chinese continuous course with us, you simply complete the EOI that we sent you and return the completed form to us. If you are studying Chinese continuous course at your home school, but would like to study extension course with us, you will need to complete the application form that can be found in our school website, or you can refer to the website that I have included on the slide. The deadline for submission is um, at the end of this term, which is 27th of September, term three, week 10. However, it will be great if you can submit your form as soon as possible. The Chinese extension course 
um, will commence term four, week two. Now that you have a good overall understanding of the course, if you would like to um, learn more about the extension course itself, the most useful website for you would be our NESA Chinese Extension website, which I have provided a link on the, um, on the slide for you. You will be able to find key information such as the syllabus, course prescriptions, and past HSC papers there. After going through this information, if you have any more course related questions, you can email me by the email provided on the slide as well.